Another homicide in the 18th and Vine District over the weekend has business owners there fired up over the lack of patrols in that area. Kelly Taylor joins us now live. And Kelly, the people who live and work in that area say the problem is much bigger than that, right? Yeah, Brad, they say that this area is not treated like other districts in town, but a vigil just wrapped up for that homicide victim. It's 22-year-old Marcus excuse me, uh, Marcus Stone. He was shot and killed in this parking lot here. And that vigil just wrapped up. Family and friends of his, they have left behind some candles, flowers, balloons, pictures of him. And it's all just a part of the issues that they have here in the 18th and Vine District. This is years and years and years of neglect, years and years and years of, of, of environmental racism against this community. And people always act like it's a new subject matter when they're, when they're talking about it. He should do something and not just talk about it. Now this parking lot at the corner of 18th and Vine is where family and friends of 22 year old Marcus Stone came together to remember him after he was killed. It was the second homicide in the Jazz District on back to back weekends. Business owners say part of the problem is police don't patrol the area regularly. It's the only entertainment area without a community improvement district 1% sales tax. Now that money could be used for public safety, beautification, infrastructure and other things. We talked to Mayor Lucas about issues surrounding the area and he says there are new expectations for off-duty patrols going forward. Our hope is either reactivating a community improvement district um, to make sure business owners and the city that owns a lot of the property would be able to have that heightened security. There's always more lighting, but there's this other real challenge that we have, which is that uh, both of the recent homicide incidents, the shooting incidents, occurred long after hours, one at about 2 in the morning, the other about 1.30 a.m. after all the businesses nearby had closed. And so we continue to run into challenges with the fact that people are lingering and all too often they're lingering with firearms. Now, there is a town hall meeting tomorrow at 11 at the Black Archives of Mid-America to talk about the state of 18th and Vine. Councilwoman Melissa Robinson is working on a way to get six to eight off-duty officers in the area on Friday and Saturday nights. That's starting this weekend. And she's also preparing a package that she'll present on Wednesday at the Neighborhood and Public Safety Meeting. Live in Kansas City, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News. Kelly, thank you.